Why are they spelling the kid's name? I, love you both. I don't That's know. That's how they pronounce it. <laughs> this is our son, J-O-E. All right, well, that makes sense. The late, great Tammy Wynette. I didn't realize. I thought that... I thought that J-Lo and B-Fleck were already divorced. No, they haven't made it official. She yet. filed on the second anniversary of their wedding. Ooh. She said she want. Well, somebody said she wanted to sting. Yeah. But other people said it. It didn't. <laughs> it, I, I didn't. I'm so curious about this because when they got back together, it was really one of those stories. People were like, oh my god, they were apart for 18 years, and they both had kids with other people, and blah blah blah. To- and they they the, for each person, they were the one that got away, and they got back together. And then something happened, man, in in a short period of time. And um, all of the stories are about how he just had no interest in, like, working on whatever they needed to work on. It's probably not easy being married to either of them. Right. He's so, also done a lot for himself. Like, he, he quit drinking. He got sober. And I feel like he... But he did that before her, didn't right, he? Right, he did that yeah. before her. But I think then they got into this relationship... And it was probably real hot and heavy at first, but that, that fades and then fell back into some old I habits. I also think a big, well, I don't think he fell back into old habits. I think what happened was, remember, she was supposed to do that big tour and have that movie release, and those both kind of tanked. And I think all that put a strain put on a them. Big strain on it. Uh, she said she was done waiting for Ben Affleck to show any signs that he wanted to make their union work. She's 55, he's 52, and she decided that it was time to move on. He's very disappointed and sad, but he hasn't given her any signs that he wants to continue. He hasn't shown any commitment and interest in making their marriage work. I wonder why. I mean, um, yeah, I don't know. Because everybody's very friendly with everybody else. I mean, he's got kids with Jennifer Garner. She's got kids with a few dudes. And... um, you think uh, A-Rod uh, swoops in to console her? I mean, she, was enga- she was engaged to Alex Rodriguez, mm-hmm. and it didn't She's happen. She's going to keep going through all of her exes? Well, not keep. I mean, she doesn't have that many, but, I mean, that's who she was engaged to. So they were going to get married. And it's someone, I mean, you get to that point, you know, it stands to reason that you're comfortable with them. I don't know. She's going to be somebody who's going to need consoling I could probably I assume I don't know anything about consoling uh, so I'm told but um, of course the byline on this is that they don't have a prenup and well, how much so, do you think they actually shared like they're each so well to do on their own I doubt they really brought together yeah but they're moving money. out of this house that like There's they like just 20, had built yeah they like they bought a house together had it renovated I think they're in like $20 million for this place, maybe more. Yeah. So nobody, they they, they must have really thought this is it and it's going to work. They're like, we're not going to do a prenup. She filed the divorce papers yesterday, the okay. same day as their two-year anniversary. Got to get that Massey prenup. What is that? Uh, intolerable cruelty. Oh, and, right, yeah. yeah. George Clooney and George Catherine Clooney. Gita George. Yeah, he had the... Prenup that was just ironclad. ironclad. Yep. Nothing could get past it. That's right. Prenuptial agreement. Everybody needs a prenup. People think you gotta be rich to get a prenup. Oh no. You got 20 million. Your wife want 10 big deal. You ain't starving. But if you make 30,000 <laughs> and they, your wife want 15, you might have to kill her. <laughs> Half of your 30,000. Was that Gaffigan? Yeah, Jim Gaffigan, yep. <laughs> right after that, he starts talking about food. 
Without a prenup, all of their earnings, profits, and assets they have made in the past two years are considered community property. So there's going to be with everybody. Give me a lot. <laughs> yes, the entire uh, community of Montecito or wherever they live, Calabasas. Um, ben Affleck is still one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood because he's a producer too. But he did Air, and he did which I think Air was that was very entertaining. Uh, he did a couple of movies nobody saw, but he's got The Accountant Two coming out, and he made thirty eight million dollars last year. Because that Air movie did pretty well. Mm-hmm. The story of Michael Jordan and Nike. It was Bateman and Matt Damon and I still Affleck. Haven't it. It, I liked. It. I thought it was very I, entertaining. I heard it was very good. Very entertaining. I just never got around to it. Uh, J Lo's estimated net worth is four hundred million dollars. Wow. Uh, they spent sixty million dollars on this mansion okay. last year. Jeez. Yeah, it was going to be their forever home. Is a giant. I wonder. I know it's a flex, and I know you have a lot of money, and the money's not an issue. But when you see the aerial photos of these massive, ma- it's like two hospitals next mm-hmm. to each other is one house. Why? Why that big of a house? Why not? I guess, but I don't get it. Like, you're probably not going to be there that often if she's on tour or whatever, you know? It's just a massive, you're just two people. It's a massive house. She can't fill an arena and she can't fill a house. Right. (laughs) You know what else she can't fill? Her heart. Mm. Um, Yeah, so they built this massive thing and then he moves out. And they turn it into a rental property. Who's renting that? And how much is the rent? Yeah, it's going to be $20 million a, a year to rent this. And then he goes and buys another house. <laughs> can, He's you just, a, uh, can I Venmo you the rent? <laughs> yeah. So, like, they both go house hunting. Boy, that's got to be nice when you just have tens of millions of dollars. It's not like Ben Affleck's walking into a bank to get a loan, right? Yeah. He just, just plunked down. He's like, hey, I'm going to buy a $20 million house. That's where I'll live. He just turned 52 last week. But J-Lo looks good. Good. You saying Ben doesn't? And she works hard. <laughs> you saying Ben doesn't look good? See, ben. here's the thing with Ben Affleck is, you know, he lost some weight and he's he seems like maybe he's trying to take care of himself. Ben Affleck is a guy who's like always on the cusp of being able to look really good again. It wouldn't take him much work. Like he's a good looking dude, you know. He always looks good. He just he always looks just exhausted. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's got like a beard, he's got maybe ten extra pounds on him. You know, so he, what? let him live. Well, this is what you get when you let him live. You can't let everybody I like live. It. Yeah, you got you got to nail some things down. You got to go. I got to figure some things out. I got to talk to somebody. I think Ben needs a good friend to live in his twenty million dollar house with him. That probably has a doodle and <laughs> a golden doodle. <laughs> a golden doodle, and uh, his personality is pool. Yeah. <laughs> That's He'll the secret sauce, there. what you're saying? Yeah, I'll, I'll really help Ben a lot. Well, this is her fourth divorce. That's crazy. Man. At that point, it's you, J-Lo. Well. It's you. You're trying to say Ben needs to work on things. You're divorced four times. You think so? Yeah, it's her. Well, That's okay. a lot of divorces. Right, but, but, okay, but here's the thing, right? So she marries a dude for like a year mm-hmm. who nobody knows. Then she gets married to one of her backup dancers, and they get divorced after like two years. Then she marries Mark Anthony. They have two kids, and they get divorced after 10 years. So, like, she was young, and she married a couple of randos. She just likes being well, married. They weren't random to her. She thought she was in love. And oh, I, come yeah. On. She was young. Well, Anywho, she ain't Dolly young Parton anymore. was young when she got married, and Who? they're still together. Dolly Parton? Oh, yeah. Oh, spe- okay, so speaking of You don't of have this. to get married to a famous person if you're a famous person. You I think show people got to be with show people. That's all I'm saying. Now, Dolly Parton shows you otherwise. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll throw this name at Mary because this name, again, I was um, there was a little blurb about how this guy, who I've never heard of before, this guy is making his debut at the Grand Ole Opry. It's a mm-hmm. big deal, right? 
He's crying. His grandma tells him, blah, blah, blah. Am I going to cry, Grandma? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just kidding? We know the Grand Ole Opry has played a pivotal role in your journey, and we'd love to officially make you part of ours. The Opry is delighted to formally invite you to step into the circle for your debut on September 10th, 2024. We look forward to celebrating the significant milestone where it all began, the Grand Ole Opry. All right. The only reason I'm playing this for you is because this guy's no pretty close. This guy's name is the greatest goddamn name since Conway Twitty. I've never heard of him. I thought maybe Mary had. He's from the Pacific Northwest, Mm -hmm. which can get very country, by the way. His name is Tucker Wetmore. Uh, I think I know one song by him. Um... He's playing the Dusty Armadillo out in this these parts in November. He's on tour. Tucker Wetmore. I have heard his name, but even looking at the names of his songs, I'm not sure that I would. I might have. I to don't care for I his voice at all. But what a great name! Yeah, Tucker Wetmore. I definitely you couldn't have heard get, his name. I mean, you're 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 destined to be a country singer if that's your name. I know I'm my line. Another ball cap on a bar stool underneath the PBR line. So it's another guy singing through his nose. Yeah. But, um, oh, what a great name. Tucker Wetmore. Yeah, I've heard of him, but I didn't know that song. So if that's his big song, I didn't know it. It's called Good uh, Wind Up Missing You. Good Wind Dragon would be Wetter Tuckmore. BillSquire.com for tickets. Where are you performing? Uh, Will it be at the Garage Bar? I'm going to yep. do another show at Imposter Theater. i got Funny Stop coming up. Uh, out in Wadsworth, all sorts of stuff. BillSquire.com. He was hoping to be a professional football player. Well, he was raised in uh, in Kalama, Washington, and he played football at Montana Technical University. He was raised in Vice President Washington. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Kalama Washington. Yeah. That's what they Kalama should. Say. That's what they're going to be calling her next over on Fox News. Kambala Washington, Kambala Harris, Tucker Wetmore. Oh, it's great because country artists, you know, they um, they don't really have like strange names anymore. Conway Twitty, and there were all kinds of great names back in the day. That's the one that jumps to mind. But you know, George Strait is not a wacky name. Waylon Jennings is pretty good. Waylon. Waylon Jennings. Hello, Smithers. Uh, Tucker Wetmore. Randy Travis. That's a good one. Randy Travis is good. Two first names. Yeah. Well, maybe Ben Affleck was tired of J-Lo's BS. There are a lot of stories about how if you worked for her or are around her, it's no fun. Right? Like you're not supposed to look her in the eye and she's a real pain in the ass. But I wonder how much of that is women at that level just trying to make sure that no one takes advantage of them. Right. Right? Because yourself. they always say they're like a guy at that level. They'd never say how difficult he was. But if it's a woman at that level, they're always like, oh, she's a bitch. She's whatever. Mm-hmm. So you have to wonder if that's part of it. I mean, she might be. But you give her the benefit of the doubt. But there's also women at that level that are not difficult. Like. That are, you know. I guess. A lot, of, a lot of people say good things about me. I guess. Now I'm going uh, through a breakup after seven years. Turn the show on. Looking for some laughs. <laughs> you played Tammy Wynette. <laughs> I didn't mean to do you dirty like that. I wasn't I wasn't trying to do that. Seven years. That's a, oof, that's a long time. And once the fun sex stuff fades, a person remembers why they hated the other person. Yeah, but it, but you've been through it before. This is not, I don't know. You know, it, 20 years. It's they... always interesting to me. It's always interesting to me the people who like remarry their ex. Mm-hmm. I get dating <laughs> or hanging out because most people will say, we get along a lot better now that we're not married. It just wasn't, wasn't for them. They're like, oh, we're friends and blah, blah, blah. But the people who are like, you know what? May-, and I guess sometimes it works. Who knows what key is going to turn that lock? But, yeah, you go, oh, now I remember why we didn't work out. Unless po- both people have gone through some massive changes. I just remember that I hate you. I won't be doing this anymore. 
hey, how about if I pack my crap and move out? Alan, for all the verbs that could be names, Tucker has to be the worst. I don't know about that. I like Tucker wet more. I don't more. know. Sucker's worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm Sucker Tucker. What's going on? Sucker wet more. Here, here's my new song. I was, there was a lady who posted, I don't know if this was off of Reddit or what, but I think it rose to the level of being one of those what should I do letters uh, posted online about a woman who was charging uh, ticket prices for her wedding to offset the cost, which to me, I, I don't see any justification for that. That's but insane. Apparently there were people on both sides of this. Would you pay to attend a wedding was the article. I mean, you kind of do to pay. Attend a yeah. wedding. That's the thing. You every a wedding. Gift, you're traveling. If sometimes you have to take off work, if it's on like yeah. a Friday. Mm-hmm. You're being handed a bill every time you go. Mm-hmm. Some guy, he's a 23-year-old dude um, who clearly is a person of means because he says he's already spent over $100,000 on the wedding. And he's charging guests four hundred fifty dollars a ticket. I don't feel like this is a guy of means. I feel like this is a guy that has overextended his means. Uh, yeah, maybe. But mm-hmm. I also wonder how much of this is actually true. I just can't imagine a, a any person saying, "Here's uh, here's the price to come to my wedding." <laughs> I want to pay four hundred fifty dollars to see the Stones and Beatles play together. But like, no like... one would do that. No one. I don't care how good of a friend this person is. No one would pay to go to your wedding. The average cost of a wedding ceremony last year was $35,000. Oh, I forgot the RSVP. Now i got to get my ticket on SeatGeek. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> i got to go uh, get a they scout got me up in ticket Loudville. for the oh, yeah. yeah. Who need two <laughs> for the Ahmed wedding? And it just it turns your guests into customers. Which is respectful. Uh-huh. Oh, we went over that. Yeah, we did. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I can't imagine a single person that would be on the side of, yes, I can see where that would, you know. And by the way, you don't have to. I know a a lot of it is like trying to keep up with other people or one up other people. You don't have to spend $70,000 on your wedding. I mean, just, you know. Chances are you're going to get divorced. Throw a good party, whatever. The couple originally had a 350-person guest list. How many came? Seven? I don't think it's happened yet. One woman who was a close friend of the couple who paid the ticket price was at first confused when she received the invitation. I was definitely hesitant, she said. (laughs) That sounds crazy. Who y'all think y'all are, she said. She called them, and once they explained their reasoning, she understood and paid them immediately after the call. She knew their intention was not to make money, but to offset the costs. I guess my thing is, like, drop the costs. You know that, yeah. You know it's going to cost money to get married if you're going to do it in that traditional style. I'm fine sticking with, give them a card that covers the cost of the food. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. You know, if it's 75 bucks a plate, give them 200 You're fine. Good to go. Because you're not, you know, destination weddings and things like that. You're like, oh, we're getting married in Mexico. And that's a way for the couple to cut down on the number of people who come. Right. We don't want to tell people not to come, but we're going to make it kind of prohibitively expensive for you to show up. And that's fine with me. Hey, Mazel tov. Send you a video of myself wishing you nothing but love and happiness. We're going to break here. You want to get the last word in, uh, send me a text, 351 